folks, it's Nana JL54. Janet, hello! I got my hair cut. I got it cut. I got layers. Mm, you see my layers? Got my layers. But I kept my length. I kept my length. Woohoo! Um, you know, she cut a couple inches off, but um, yeah, she cut it in layers. It's so much lighter for the summer, and um, and I'll still be able to pick it up in a ponytail and um, all of that. And it's kind of, she had it blown out really woohoo, but I'm not like, I'm not a woohoo person. So, of course, I ran my fingers through it and like calmed it down as much as I could. And, and later on tonight, I'll blow it down myself and it'll be all like I like it. So anyway, I wanted to let you know, uh, I took my daughters this morning, and the grandpa watched the girls, and um, took my daughters this morning, and we went to the salon, and we had a really lovely time. We had, there's a little French uh, bakery next door, so we had quiche, and uh, croissants, and um, juice, and the girlies got pedicures, and I got my hair cut, and... Um, and uh, yeah, we had a we had a lovely visit, a nice time, and then it, um, my oldest daughter decided to get her hair cut and uh, colored and stuff too. So um, I came back to the house and rescued the grandpa. <laughs> and uh, well, I my the youngest and I came back to the house and rescued the grandpa, and we picked up the girlies and um, brought them back to the salon where mommy got her hair finished. And, um, and everybody went their separate ways, and we're supposed to go to the rodeo tonight. I don't know how that's going to pan out. Um, I don't know. My oldest daughter might have to go to work. It depends if the weather holds up, all that kind of stuff, because um, it gets really muddy and stuff over there. I don't like mud, so um, if it's rainy, we're not. I'm not going. My youngest daughter, nothing keeps her from no, rain nor sleet um, keeps her from the from whatever mud doesn't bother her um but it bothers me and i don't like to deal with it especially with little girls in my car with their shoes in the mud so um we'll see about that one uh what else i went yesterday i bought a couple things i can't show you um but i bought a table vise to hold my stuff while i'm soldering because the clothespin and the clippy things weren't working so i got a nice table vise and i and i got i used to have one i had a cute little one um, and it was very, I remember at the time that I bought it, it was a long time ago, it was very cheap, and, um, I don't know, I must have tossed it or something, because I couldn't find it, and, um, uh, I had to spend $20 on one, but that's better than $49, so, there was, the next one was a $49 one, and this one has, like, little rubber things that you could take off, but the rubber, uh, little things that go between the blades or the grippers, it, it protects this glass from chipping, so that's a good thing, um, and I got more copper tape, wider copper tape, and um, uh, I don't know why people, I guess people really don't care if they do business or not. I don't know. I went to an art glass place, um, stained glass place to buy the copper tape that I wanted and to look into other things that they had. And they really didn't make me feel welcome to like take a look at what they had. Um, I asked if they had, I walked in with a smile on my face and asked if they had copper tape. And she was like, uh, what size do you want? <laughs> and I mean, they had supplies in there and they had things that people had made and jewelry that they sell and stuff. And, you know, she just really didn't make me feel like doing anything but coming in there, getting my supplies and leaving. They do classes and everything else, but they weren't, you know, and I tried really hard by the end, of, by the end of my purchase you know she perked up a little bit but um she, yeah I don't understand people you know they have to pay rent and stuff how do you not be friendly and pay you know and depend on people uh, maybe she's independently wealthy and she has that place just for her own fun I don't know but doesn't make me want to go and take a class so anyway um that's that what else did I want to talk about um I guess that's it Okay, well, I love you guys, and um, I will talk to you later, and um, yeah, let me know how you like my hair. How do you like me now? <laughs> Bye.